Hi there. We are here to tell you a little bit about how ocean currents are formed. In order to understand this, we should first have in mind the influence of salinity and temperature in this process. Temperature is one of the factors that create density differences. Water temperature is affected by several external factors, for example, the loss of heat to atmosphere, especially at higher latitudes, makes it colder. The opposite happens in lower latitudes, where the sun radiation is more intense. As everybody knows, cold water is denser than warm water, hence it sinks creating circulation patterns due to the density differences. Another factor that has influence in density is salinity, which is the measure of dissolved salts in water. It is affected by several factors, some of them like precipitation, heating by the sun, iceberg melting, and river runoff make the seawater lighter. On the other hand, water cooling, ice freezing, and evaporation make the seawater denser. Now, watch this amazing video! Ok, getting back to our video, in this experiment, we used salt water on the left side and fresh water on the right side. Since the salty water has a higher density, it sinks to the bottom. The same would happen if we had cold water on the left and warm water on the right side. Density differences have direct influence over ocean currents, picnic lines diff, among other properties. The picnic line is the layer where the density gradient is the greatest within the ocean. In the second experiment, on the left side we have a slightly salt water. On the right side, there are saltier water on the bottom and fresh water on the top. Since the water on the left has a density between pure and salty, it goes to the middle, showing the layer where the density gradient is the greatest. Finally, the water movement driven by density differences, creates what we call thermohaline circulation. Thermohaline circulation moves a massive current of water around the globe, from northern oceans to southern oceans and back again. Currents slowly turn over water in the entire ocean, from top to bottom. It's somewhat like a giant conveyor belt, moving warm surface water downward and forcing cold waters upward. To help clarify this concept, we added an ice cube on a tank with salt water. The melting ice creates the cold water that sinks to the bottle and travels to the left of the tank. Similar to the waters that go from poles and equatorial region, this is a process called deep convection, which is basically thermohaline circulation. This is the concept behind the Great Ocean Conveyor Belt, which is a constantly moving system of deep ocean circulation. However, this system can break down if the global temperature keeps increasing, resulting in glacier melt for an extended period of time, causing the decrement of water density in the North Atlantic Ocean. In an event where the system were to completely stop, part of the North Hemisphere would experience unusual cold. That, my friends, is basically how thermal highline circulation influences the global ocean current. Thank you for watching.